how'd that come along? Well, what's up guys this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, we've got a really awesome video planned for you guys today this is gonna be a lot of fun and uh, doing something just a little bit different than we normally do daddy guess what what Katie got a new puppy Katie got a new puppy yeah come here I'll show you and I will show them in just a minute so we are at my in-laws today we're we're gonna be helping Dusty which is my brother-in-law work his bison here at their farm for the first time um, he's been working on a new cattle shoot well it's not a cattle shoot he's been working on a bison shoot um, so that we can have the vet come out and give any medications and do a checkup on all the bison and Dusty and I did a video kind of collaboration with my channel and his a couple months ago on tearing down that old dairy barn you guys may remember we went and got a uh, a backhoe, a Kubota backhoe from GP Rents in Davis and tore down the old dairy barn so we'd have a nice uh, concrete pad to build his working chute on. Well, it's still a work in progress, but it's mostly done. And we're gonna, we're gonna work these bison today. But I did notice something, before, just, a, just something I noticed as we parked all of our vehicles here today. All the family's gonna be gathered up. We're gonna have a lot of people here, but uh, I think we need to work on a Chevrolet sponsorship for our family. My mother-in-law drives a Chevrolet Tahoe. My son drives a Chevrolet pickup. I've got a Chevrolet pickup. Dusty has a Chevrolet pickup. His wife drives a Chevrolet Tahoe. And my wife drives a Chevrolet Suburban. So if anybody has any connections with Chevrolet, apparently we're the family that drives Chevy. <laughs> Everybody in the family here drives a Chevrolet vehicle. Except my father-in-law and he's got He's got a Dodge pickup, and he drives his daughter's old little small vehicle back and forth to work, which is a little Honda. But it just so happens, today, he's got his mom's Chevrolet Avalanche over here at the barn. So, any Chevrolet dealers out there need some, some business, want to work a sponsorship out with <laughs> Arms Family Homestead, drive Chevrolet, apparently. We should do like a driving test drive all the Chevrolets in our, our family. Oh yeah? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. So before we get too far into this, if you guys aren't familiar with my brother-in-law's YouTube channel, it's called Cross Timbers Bison. You need to go check it out. I, it took me a long time to get him talked into making a YouTube channel about their bison, but Dusty has started a bison herd and it's cool. How awesome. I mean, nobody raises bison except Dusty and maybe a few other people, but it's just a, I don't know, it's kind of neat. Let's check out these bison right here real quick. No, first let's check out the uh, baby. Wait a minute, the, those, those aren't bison. Look at those little cute goats. I thought this was a bison farm. Um, <laughs> got a rabbit. My, my in-laws have a few goats. My, my, uh, my father-in-law, is known as Chicken George by all of his friends at work and stuff because he's just a, he's an animal guy. He's always got something going on, but he used to raise a lot of show lambs. But when he's out working, um, he travels around, he knows a lot of people. He stops in and, and buys animals and trades them and sells them. And these little guys are cute though. Look at these cute little goats. What is it? The puppy! They got a new farm dog and it's a Great Pyrenees. A little Great Pyrenees puppy, which is what Callie is at our house. Yep. She's a cute little fur ball, isn't she? Yeah. Cute little fur ball. What's happening, Hay Shaker? Oh, I'm trying to fill in gaps over the pipe. Just cutting rubber, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you act like minute. it's cold out here. A little bit. What happened to the pretty weather? Uh, uh, it waited until the day you decided to work outside. Exactly. And it left. I knew it. That looks dangerous. <laughs> I think I'm going to walk away from Dusty before he cuts his thumb off. That just doesn't look like a good idea. Hey. I don't think Dusty's feed trough design over here worked out very well. No, negative. Destroy. It's a 
good effort. Good effort, yeah. So uh, this is this is gonna hold a bison. They're not gonna bust through, huh? It's a muddy mess in Oklahoma. We have had so much rain the last week or so. But that's why Dusty wanted his working pins, his working chute on the concrete pad from the old dairy barn. So Dusty went down to Texas and picked this up um, and then he had this added on. So if you wanna see a video about all the, the workings of the, the bison chute and what they're doing and why they have things built the way they do, You'll have to check that out on his channel. He's got several videos on that stuff. So this is the concrete pad where we tore the old dairy barn down. He's got his head gate, some chutes with, with walls on them, sides on them. And then there's a tub system, kind of an alleyway and a tub system. So the bison will come in on the far side over there, come into this alleyway and tub, come in over there, make the turn go across the scales and into the squeeze. Look at this, coming at you. Close one. Back gate, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. That was pretty stressful. I don't enjoy that. <laughs>
We're working you last. Oh, okay. We'll what run you, you through. Check, check me. What are you taking? Oh my god, I'm scared. <gasps> I want to see you, you fall off the fence. Let's do it. Go shut this gate right here, that one over there. Open that. Open. Go ahead and open that. Oh, no. You're okay. Open it as fast as you can, and then this one right there. Katie, that one right there behind you too. You gotta stick up on it. Swing that open. Mom, is your heart like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is mine. Talk about adrenaline yeah. rush. <laughs> Bubble was screaming at me. That was hard. So when the bull escaped, the problem was he got a horn in here somehow. Popped open the side gate. Now there is a safety latch. There is a safety chain that was not hooked up. Had that bit chain been on there, if he'd have got in here and popped that open, he still couldn't have got out. Lesson learned. We know there's a safety chain. We should paint that chain like orange. I mean, luckily nothing happened. But uh, yeah, so a thousand pound bison bull just casually strolled out of the chute into the pen where we're all at. It's a good thing Dusty hand feeds his buffalo and they're just basically pets. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that Dusty wants me to show his failures. I don't think she's supposed to be in here, guys. I blame Dusty. He didn't shut the gate somewhere. Why are you sitting up on that fence like a crow? Hi, and then also I don't want really do I don't, <laughs> I don't no, you're doing a great job. I don't want anyone to get hurt in the process and so I just I know, I freak out. But, uh, but you gotta realize I know, I got buffalo stress. Shut the Shut gate. It. So on the on the heifer that got out, show us what happened. How did she set herself free here Dusty because that was a bad situation. Horn hit this right here, flips it up. Now she's able to come. Yeah, that's a bad deal. So we had the had the heifer in here locked in and her horn hit that plate and just pushed up and which is the release plate, release mechanism. And she escaped because we had the crash gate open. We we leave the crash gate closed while you're catching them and then you open that so you can change your tags or do whatever you need to do on the head and uh yeah Actually, good thing you weren't happened. standing right here that's a dang good thing yes <laughs> well i told you guys it was going to be an exciting video <laughs> maybe a little bit more excitement than we uh expected but this is all a learning curve dusty is new to the bison thing um he had a vet come out that he's good friends with that um raises bison and has for many years matter of fact most of well I don't know about most of several of Dusty's bison came from the vet that uh, that was here helping with the animals so but he was able to get most of them weighed um, got them all vaccinated wormed everything that needed to be done four of them um, are pregnant so they're gonna have four brand new babies I think he said three of them were four months pregnant and one of them is six months so we'll have some new, I say we, they will have some new babies on the ground in a, in a few months. Um, had some, some issues, had some trouble. This is a learning experience. <laughs> they are definitely learning as they go. 
testing out their new chute and uh, working pins and everything we did have the bull escape the chute and i showed you guys what happened there just the safety chain wasn't latched and when they get in there just chaos i mean you know you can see it's a squeeze chute you squeeze them down the best you can try to get them in that head gate the bull wasn't in the head gate at the time so he was just in the chute and he was able to uh pull that latch man they can get their horns and it was just an accident and then we also had a cow escape the, the cow well it might have been a heifer i guess nobody got hurt that's all i can say uh, I think Dusty's probably going to have to change up his head chute. They put a crash gate. You guys saw that crash gate on the front of the chute. Um, they put that on there because bison are so big in the front end. Um, that's a cattle head gate. And for cows, you can you can get them through there and shut the gate before they can get out. Well, with bison, they put that crash gate on the front because they hit so hard with so much power. You can't lock that head chute down on them before they're busted through. A few things he needs to change, a few things he can make better and make safer. But like I said, luckily Dust, Dusty uh, takes really good care of these animals and they're not wild and crazy because you saw we had a, a bull that got in in the holding area where we were at and had all the table and everything set up in there. Could have been a really bad situation. Could have got somebody hurt, but we didn't. Everything worked out all right. Uh, we weren't able to get the bull back in and work him. He just, he actually jumped a gate and went out in the pasture with the rest of the buffalo. Um, so they're gonna just feed and start letting them calm down and come back in over the next few days and they'll get him up and worked. And uh, yeah, so anyways, for more fiascos like this and anything bison related, be sure to go check out Dusty at Cross Timbers Bison on YouTube and Facebook. I'll leave links to his channel in the description box down below. It's just really cool. Nobody, you just don't see many people raising bison and uh, they're doing it here and kind of learning as they go so anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.